Hey everybody, Corey from SB Pace here talking project 365, numbers, metrics, all that type of stuff here in the month of October. And today's question is, how do I read my balance sheet? My least favorite of the three sheets. Um, and that's probably because I can never figure out how to get retained earnings to automatically calculate itself. But um, the uh, balance sheet is, is called a balance sheet because it balances. So you've got assets on one side, you've got liabilities and equity on the other side. Um, so your assets are all of the things that have cash value. So that's short term, long term, it's going to be cash, it's going to be accounts receivable, it's going to be equipment, that type of stuff. Anything that has cash value is an asset that's on one side. And then on the other side, well, if you're looking at it's on the top. Um, and then on the bottom, you've got your liabilities and equity. And so liabilities are going to be your everything that you owe. So this is um, outstanding debts, uh, accounts payable. This is um, any kind of basically any cash that you have to pay somebody, but you haven't paid them yet. And then equity is everything that's left over, basically. And that's what the company keeps. And so this is going to be um, in the form of like retained earnings. This is the money that you would pay out to yourself or your investors um, in the end. And at a very high level, that's what the balance sheet is. There's a lot more that goes into it, but um, the balance sheet is important in the point that it ties the income statement and the cash statement cash flows together and a lot of ratios that, um, that you would uh, use to figure out the health of your company come from the balance sheet. So it's not completely worthless, but it's my least favorite of the three.